What is the first thing you think of when I say the Philippines? White sandy beaches, beautiful blue lagoons, tropical rainforests? Well, that is one side to it. However, these are your usual tourist destinations. In the south lies an island with the reputation for being dangerous and a place that foreigners never go to. That island is called Mindanao. With governments around the world advising against all travel to this island, I figured I'd go check it out for myself and see how life really was there. Joining me on this journey is a fellow UK YouTuber called Harry who fancies a crazy adventure. This is Mindanao. The time has come to begin the journey to Mindanao. I'm here in the capital of the Philippines, Manila, and I'm about to get a two hour flight to the south of the country. Before I do that, I need to say goodbye to someone that's been with me for the past week. It's Kat. Kat, it's been a pleasure traveling with you. Are you sure you don't want to come with me to Mindanao? Nah, I really like the Philippines, but I don't fancy to go the most dangerous one, so you're on your own in this one. <laughs> I'm on my own. Right, Kat, get your stuff packed. I'll take you to the airport. And it's goodbye from Kat. I'm now heading to Mindanao. Let's do it. Well, we're at the airport, ready to board our flight to Mindanao. In front of us is everyone going to El Nido, the tourist park, and Karam. Look, these are all the tourists going to El Nido. But me and Harry, we're going to Mindanao. I don't think there's going to be any other tourists on our flight, but we're about to find out. You nervous, mate? A little bit, a little bit. Me too. <laughs> I wish we were going to El Nido now. Me too, El Nido's amazing. But hopefully Mindanao is going to be amazing. I'm going to change your mind on it. So uh, yeah, let's wait for our flight. Hello. Sir, can you work properly? Yeah. Thank you. Got towed off for wearing my mask wrong. Really? What is this, 2020? <laughs> I was right, there's no foreigners on this flight. It's just me and Harry. Some of the locals are like, Wait, why are you going to Mindanao? Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome to the island of Mindanao. We have just arrived, got to our hotel, rented two bikes. These bikes right here. And me and Harry are ready to explore the island of Mindanao. Now, the reason this place has got the reputation for being dangerous is apparently there's militant groups here that do kidnappings. And they've kidnapped a few foreigners in the past. So hopefully that's who we're gonna be avoiding. But so far we've just arrived, people are friendly. Let's explore the island of Mindanao. You ready, mate? Very ready, let's go. Keep an eye out for the militant groups <laughs> and we'll be fine. We're now going to begin the two day road trip in Mindanao on those two bikes behind me. Let's do it. Welcome to Mindanao. Let's go. What is this man selling? Should we buy something off him? Nice little Brother. sound. Let's have a look. Opa. Opa. Hello, yeah. how are you? Ah. Yes. Yes, what is your name? <laughs> Uh, what's your name is Rodrigo Conde. Rigo. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Oh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. My name is Benjamin. Go I have one, please. Yeah. What is this? Uh, sagu. Sagu. Opo. Okay. We want tokwa. We're going tokwa. Tokwa. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Nice, nice and chilled <laughs> from from the from the freezer. How much is one? Twenty. Twenty. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's okay. Mind it? Yes. <laughs> yes, brother. Thank you. you have Thank a spoon? you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's go this way, Harry, and try that. Right, I'm going in. When in the Philippines, you've got to do it. I tried balloons. So I'm going to try this. Can you try it please? Is it sweet or...? I'll let, I'll let you be the judge of that. Oh god. <laughs> it's caramelized. Really? That's enough. <laughs> it's like porridge. <laughs> it's very hot, gooey and it's caramelized. Right, that's enough energy. We've got a mouthful of basically 
<laughs> it's like spunk. Yeah, it's really warm as well. It's so warm. Well, we've had a mouthful of that. Let's uh, continue the road trip. Come on. On these bikes right here. Lead the way, mate. You've got the map. Let's do it. Holy shit. Whoa. That's the hell. They drive crazy here in Mindanao. Look, people just pull out in front of you. This place is nuts. Harry's informed me there's a ferry that crosses and goes to a different island called Sabao, still in Mindanao. But we're a bit lost. We're asking a few locals where to go. Guys, Sabao ferry, Sabao? 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 Dab Sab. Dab Sab. Oh, it feel. Go like this. Feel. Yes. Oh. This way then, right? Oh, parts. Okay. Right. Thank you. This is it. We found the ferry port. Whoa. Hey, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Uh, one please. Can I have you play combustor? Of course you can. Ugh. Harry basically said there's a ferry to get us out of this crazy sea because he's seen the traffic, it's mental. So we said, listen, I found a ferry online, cost a couple of quid. Actually, no, that costs about a one pound. Less than that, I think. Less yeah. than a quid. We're now going to join these cars up here and then go across to a different island. How exciting! Can you lead the way, mate? It's like Christmas come early. This is going to be amazing. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Sweat my tits off. Alright, let's join the queue here. Ooh, bikes this way. Woo! Well, now we wait, I guess. Wait until the ferry's full, ready to go. And we cross this water. Onto that island now, I think. No idea. Hello, guys. People are living here next to the ferry. Good morning. How are you? Good? <laughs> Not too sure how long we're going to be waiting here. But look, you can see these homes on the river here. People live in these little huts, these little wooden huts. It goes on for miles that way. What have you just told me? <laughs> He's taking us to uh, Albul Albuliero, which is like a local healer. Well, what does that mean? We're going to be healed. By what? Um, this man uh, here? Victor, Victor. Oh, Sophie? Oh, sure. Okay. I'm confused. What's going on? <laughs> what, like a massage with a no. happy ending? <laughs> no? No, like a the heal. It's like a traditional healing. And this man's going to take us? He's going to take us. You've just met this guy? He works in ex-army. Okay, I trust him. Let's go. <laughs> Go to the top. It's a strong smell of urine up here. This is it, it's the waiting area. What is this in here? Oh dear, that is the ferry toilet. That explains the strong smell of urine. This is it, this is the ferry of Mindanao to the other side of the island. So mate, what the hell were you saying? Where are we going? We're getting a rub down. So, I spoke to my man Christian, who's coming on the boat as well, and he was like, I'm ex-army, so, so I trust him. And then he was saying something about... Hold on, ex-army or ex-militant? What did he say? <laughs> ex-army. Okay, right. He was fighting the militants, don't worry. Okay, well, so and he okay, said yeah. that... I actually asked him about it, about the Al... I, I am a Euros, I, I'm saying it wrong, but basically they're traditional doctors, the traditional healers, and they use like spirits and stuff to heal you. And he said something, just as I was getting on the boat, he said something about snake blood. Hold on a minute. And he's gonna take us there. So that's where we're going. 
I thought we were going for a nice relaxing drive around the island, but we're off to try some snake blood apparently. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. Harry said I can go on the microphone up here where the uh, captain's driving. Let's have a look. Hello. Wow, is this the place? Hey guys, how are you? Apparently I can have a go on a microphone. This one here? Here we go. What did you say? I said uh, thanks for riding on the Samal Express. Enjoy Samal and uh, be safe. Okay, yeah, what's happening? Good afternoon, everyone. We are approaching Samal Island. Just a heads up. Let's go. Avoid the militants. We're the And uh, yeah, have a great day. Oh, oh. oh thank you, guys. <laughs> you sound very professional. There you go, guys. It's always fun in the Philippines. Remember that. Always. And we're off. Oh yeah. I have no idea the plan here. Harry has obviously met this guy and this guy has said, listen, before we get a rub down, let's go to the beach. He wants to show us a beautiful island. So that's where we are, parked up. In this building apparently it's through to the beach. Let's have a look. Tropical Mindanao, beautiful. Not bad. Not bad at all. Beautiful Philippines. Oh, I'll go there, yo. Okay, is it safe? Oh, it's safe. Yeah? Uh, if you go to my house, my my backpack, me, I bring to the, my house, then go to, to the Albulario. How far is it? Not far? Oh, uh, it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Oh, 20 minutes. Okay. So what's the plan? We're going to your house. Oh, you get to my house. Oh. And then visit my house. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh. Let's do it. Thank you, my, Christian. My, I have a children, girl. They have to speak English. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's go meet your family. Okay. Your English is good. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's Thank go. You, Hey bro, you okay? My, my bike is low on fuel. I'm gonna show you how cheap the Philippines is to fuel up your bike. It costs like two pounds, full tank. So uh, yeah, let me get in here. How are you, brother? You okay? Yeah? Good man. How are you? Uh, full, please. I need it, sir. I'm not sure, actually. Good question. Premium. Okay, thank you. There you go, full tank costs 200. 200 peso is about £3.50, something like that, $5. Is that okay, sir? Yes, thank you very much. 200 peso. Thank you very much. You too, have a great day. Bye, guys. Nice to meet you. Okay, what's your name? Jurin. Jurin? Jurin, Ah, okay. Take care, guys, okay? Good luck. Take care. Bye. Well, so far, Mindanao is amazing. Beautiful islands, extremely friendly people. This could be my new favorite place here in the Philippines. Let's hope it continues. We took a turn off the side of the road and we're down these jungle roads. Look at this. And then Christian's home is apparently down there on the right. So let's go see his family, apparently. He's invited us to his home. We have no idea what's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, let's find out. Oh, yeah, apparently this is it. This way. Whoa, what a place. Hey. 
Wow, what a place this is. Look at this, tucked into the jungle roads. Hello there. Hello. What is your name? My name is Jelly. Jelly? Yes, my... My... Uh, my... Husband? Yeah. Yeah? And who is this? Hello. This is my daughter. Yeah, her name? Wow, this thank my you. My mother and my brother. Ah, hello there. Nice to meet everyone. Found your accommodation for tonight. I'll take that. That's good. I like a hammock. If you see my Peru videos, I spent three days living on a hammock, so that wouldn't bother me in the slightest. So, what's the plan? He, he just wanted to show us the house and then we're going to go to the El Bolario. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's have a little walk around Christian's garden here. Beautiful place. Got some sort of chicken farm back here, some chickens here. Some red horse, greatest beer in the Philippines. More red horse. And then I think this is a chicken hut or something. And more red horse. Christian loves a drink. Then where they wash their stuff here. I'm guessing that's a toilet back there. Cool place and some more chickens here look. Your first time here? First time, yes. Oh. I love it here, it's great. People said Mindanao very dangerous, but it's fine. No, no, no. the Mindanao is very peaceful. Yeah, it feels peaceful. <laughs> yeah. So it's good to be here. Hello. Hello. We've been driving for ages down these jungle roads. Still have no idea where we're going. Have no idea what's gonna happen. But we're putting our trust into Christian, who we've just met, leading us all this way. So, um, yeah, let's see where he leads us. Christian just keeps saying, yeah, this way, this way. We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't think he knows. I think they're, they're looking around, they don't know where they're going either. Yeah, so we're a bit lost, a bit confused, what's going to happen when we get there. But this is what happens when you trust strangers in the Philippines, they lead you on great adventures. So hopefully it's worth it. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, this way, I don't know. How are you? Hello, you okay? I think this is it. We've arrived at a church, it looks like. Is this it? Oh, this is it, mate. Yes. All right, okay. Let me get parked up here. Well, we've made it. After a long drive through the jungle, we've arrived at a church here in the middle of nowhere in a small house. And a man sat on a bench. And another man sat on a bench. What is about to happen? I have no idea. But let's find out. So this man fixes people, like spiritually. Interesting. So this man was saying the healer is like famous in this village and he basically fixes people. If they've say got snake bites, mosquito bites or injuries, he um, does his ritual on them and then they feel better. So that's hopefully who we're gonna meet. I have no idea where he is or if he's even coming. So hopefully he does. Hello sir, how are you? Benjamin, nice to meet you. Uh, it's nice to meet you and we were wondering if uh, you do any services, uh, healing? Is it possible? Mm -mm. It's possible? Okay, thank you. So my issue is I have bad knee. Really bad knee, very painful. <laughs> arthritis. Arthritis. No, I, have, I, have, arthritis. I have arthritis in my knee. Oil. Okay, he, he, he can do this. Finish your fag. Yeah, finish your cigarette. Yeah, we sit here. We sit here and wait. Thank you. That is the man. That is Danny Cobra, his name. And he's going to cure my knee problems, which I've had for years. So he's going to finish his cigarette and. Um, yeah, hopefully heal my knee. A little article about him there. Famous man. Yes. <laughs> and this is the snake. Dead. He's dead. Ah, oh, you killed this snake. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he bite. Crazy. He bite the snake. 
Okay? Yeah. Wow, so we're in. Danny Cobra is going to fix my knee inside this church. Where do I go? I don't, I don't know, know what the, um, I don't know what the Cobras have to do with the either. Not a clue, mate. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm coming over here? Wow, okay. Yes. Maybe if you film this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope this isn't snake poison. <laughs> Looks green and murky. Yeah, it's stinging. Ooh. <laughs> what is this inside this jar? Mm. Did you think you'd be doing this in the Philippines? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am with Danny Cobra, mm. getting my knee fixed by a made up injury. <laughs> He seems like a really friendly guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. The legend, Danny Cobra. <laughs> you drink this? Mm -hmm. Oh. Harry, I think you should drink this. Oh my god. You drink the... You make a tambal. You put the oil and you drink. Oh my you god. You can drink. You drink not... snake. Oh, I won't drink this. Oh, this is snake blood. Yes. Okay, snake right. Snake wine. That's your favourite. Snake wine. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people drink that. Many people? Yes. yes. <laughs> like um, Korean. Cheers. Mm. Can, I, can I have a look inside? Yeah, man. Mm. Sure. Yeah, this just tastes like strong vodka or something. There's a snake in there. What else is in there? There's not a snake in there, is there? There's a human in there. No, no. Oh my god. Very well, there you go. I just had treatment from Danny Cobra and a shot of snake wine. It's now turn time for Harry to have a go. He's going to get his head rubbed. Busy guy, Danny Cobra. Bite the rat. He bite the rat. A rat bite. Rat. There you go. This is the powers of Danny Cobra. If someone's got a rat bite, he will fix it with his magical powers and snake blood. But this is it, this is the church where he does all his work. Got some posters up here. And then some more. Is that snake blood as well? Who knows? Look at that. Don't fancy drinking none of that. Snake blood or snake wine oh, is wow. enough. Right, that was the legend Danny Cobra here in Mindanao. The legend right there. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Good man. Take care, bye bye. All right, lead the way, guys. Christian, you're a good man. This is what happens when you trust the strangers of the Philippines here in Mindanao. Very friendly people, lead you on great adventures. Guys, thank you so much. Yes. All right. Take care. And thank you for showing me your home and everything, okay? Take care. Bye bye. All right, me and Harry are now solo. All right, take care, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was good fun, wasn't it, on this side of the island? Met some cool people, beautiful place. And now we're gonna get back on the ferry and head back to the main city where we started. The ferry's pulling up now, look. Perfect timing. Good morning, good afternoon. How are you? Yes. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah? It's okay to walk around? Yeah. It's okay? Perfect. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Before I got on the ferry for the first time, I showed you people that were living in wooden shacks on the side of the river. I've now put up on the side of the road and hopefully it's okay with me filming down here. That first guy was fine. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? You okay? What is your name? Nindo. 
Dodo. Mendo. Dodo. Mendo. Yeah. Siren. They've got a gym up there. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a workout. Oh, you your friends. Yes. Uh, my name is Harry. Harry. Oh, some dogs in a cage, yeah? They do not look friendly. So this is where I started my video before, just over there, is when I got on the ferry in the distance over there. And now we're walking in these villages here with all these friendly people. Hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> There's kids swimming in the water over there. Hello. Some guys over there. Hello. <laughs> oh, this way? Come here. Let's have a look. Oh, what is this place? It's an office. Hello, sir. How are you? Benjamin. Nice to meet you. It's okay here. It's safe to walk around. Yes. I'm the president. The president of this area. Ah, perfect. It's okay to walk around. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. There you go, we've got permission of the president to be here. <laughs> Hello. Where'd you get the ice cream? So let's, uh, let's carry on. We've got permission of the president. Thank you, sir. Good man, good man. Hello. How are you? Hello, sir. How are you? All right, don't want to overstay my welcome too much. Let's have a little continue strolling. Whoa, look at this. Hello. There's a computer shop in here playing games. Was not expecting that. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> English, not behind. English, not behind. English, not English. English? English. This is Minecraft, right? Minecraft? No, that's Love Loss. Love Loss. What is Love Loss? <laughs> Alright, I won't disturb you. You carry on. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Harry, have you seen this? <laughs> this is hey, how are you? You okay? <laughs> how are you, sir? Are you okay? okay? Yeah. Good afternoon. Ooh. Bye. These kids have been following us since the very beginning. Bye guys! Bye. Oh, man. See how friendly the people in the Philippines are, especially here in Mindanao? What's all the worry about? They said don't come here, you're having a laugh, innit? People are great. Anyway, we're back on the bikes. I'm now going to head to the hotel and show you where I'm going to be spending the next two nights. It's called Hotel Crevice. Yes, Crevice. So, um, Lead the way, Harry, as always, with your Google Maps. Go to the crevice. Let's get into the crevice. We have arrived back at the hotel, Crevice Hotel. Let me show you what £10 gets you here a night here in Mindanao. Let me tell you, it's a decent little room. Let me show you. Oh. oh. Hi, ladies. All right. Back at Crevice. You all right, mate? I'm good. I'm good. Good to be back, innit? It's nice. Yeah. Very good day. Yeah. I want to go. I want to go show the people the room. Right. Show the people what ten pound gets you here in Mindanao. Where's my key? Oh man. Do you know who Danny the Snake is? Danny? What's his name? Da Danny Cobra. Danny Cobra? Do you know Danny Cobra? Oh, you need to know him because he's here. He's we met here. Danny Cobra here in Mindanao. <laughs> you know Danny Cobra? Yeah, oh, he's famous. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. They're like, what? Yes, he's not as famous as we <laughs> think. <laughs> Just in that tiny village. Hello. See, not bad, huh? It's our little walkway. 
then our room. Well, Harry's room's on the right, mine is on the left. Oh! Ooh. Are you joking? Oh, I'm in. Hey, what's going on here? I'm in. Why is it not working for me? Tell you what, mate, I'll just end my video in your room. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's the same, same thing, innit? It just smells a bit in here for it me. It does smell in here a bit. That's me. What is that? <laughs> Why does it smell like cheese? <laughs> You're saying I smell like cheese? A little bit. <laughs> right, this is basically what ten pound here gets a night gets you a night here in Mindanao. Not bad, huh? Do you like it, mate? I like it, yeah. No Same. window, but I don't really care. For Same. ten pound a night, like. Ten or a night. Well I'm gonna end things here. That's day one here in Mindanao. We've got two more days or so two more videos to come. It's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from Harry, and uh, yeah, hopefully I've changed your mind on Mindanao. And hopefully when you come to um, Philippines you consider coming here. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Take care. Well, Get out of this fucking room, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs>